was open to unscheduled flights. So what you saw today is today is open for scheduled flights. So you've seen the first commercial flight, and then you uh, it's it's a good impression because we've seen it because we wanted to showcase to to Sierra Leone and to Sierra Leoneans and passengers outside of Sierra Leone that uh, Sierra Leone has got a brand new airport, and that airport is an indication of the readiness of the country to open for business and also to showcase foreign direct investment in Sierra Leone. And there have been a debate. People say whether it's a new terminal or a new airport. So I have to answer that question first. What defines a airport is a control tower. So you have, whenever you have a brand new control tower, you have a new airport. Okay? So that is the difference. So I'm telling you the difference today. You have a brand new control tower and a brand new terminal so which means you have a brand new airport it's a yeah it's control tower that defines an airport now this is the second plane that is coming this year front as you have seen this is a modern well well furnished and well resourced airport and we hope this is going to be a source of pride for Sierra Leoneans like I said it is a gateway to Sierra Leone the impression we give to people and when people come to our country and we hope that this is going to inspire not only Sierra Leoneans and tourists to come to Sierra Leone, but it's also going to inspire other investors to know that this country is open for business, they can come and invest, like Suma did here. But this is just the beginning of a vision of what we call the Lunge Financial City. The Lunge Financial City have got several components. The airport, a five-star hotel, a shopping mall, and then a big space that will contain administrative building and residential building. So this is just the beginning of the operationalization of the Lunge financial system. Okay, lastly, because you are part of this great success, so to speak, and you just interacted with some people who believe in today, who are fortunate to be part of the history of using the scheduled flight, uh, the first one. For today. You can relay that I am feel very happy and satisfied that people are very happy and amazed. I even met some people who said they took pictures and they sent them to their kids overseas and the kids asked them, Mommy, are you sure you are in Sierra Leone? This is Sierra Leone. This is what we can offer. We can offer competitivity and we can also offer hope because this is about hope. It's about a vision. A vision of a president that came in and said, I'm going to build a new city in Lungi, starting with a new airport. Today we are seeing that that's airport in operation and then and this is the beginning of the new city. I feel very satisfied. I've gone around, I've met passengers, I went to the business restaurant. Everybody is excited. Everybody is happy. As you can see, like in our local language, like Tirena Prede, for people that understand this, the real, real Prede, original Prede, passengers there, everybody, all my happy. I feel good to see that they are happy about this, and we feel good that finally this investment that we have long been talking about, this year, Paul, that we have long been talking about this airport that we have long been dreaming about is finally here it's operational Sierra Leoneans are using it and also non Sierra Leoneans are using it look there's a couple of white guys out there they say oh man thank you for a fantastic airport you cannot get better than that Maybe, so in terms of maintenance of this new airport do you foresee any challenge in the in that, in that regard for us to um, take over this particular thing when it will have been part on to take over because uh, if some people will say well Sierra definitely Leone, I hope you'll be you'll be you'll be young enough to have your turn. You understand eh? because uh, when you see this kind of investment and then you realize that maintenance is not going to be a problem. You know why maintenance has always been a problem? Because over the years what you have is state owned enterprises. Government is wants to control everything. Government wants to run the airport. Government wants to run water supply. Government wants to run electricity. Government wants to run buses. And government cannot do all of this together. That is why we have come in with a new model. That is a model to encourage what we call PSP, private sector participation in delivering essential services such as airport, such as water, such as electricity. So because of that, because you are building a new governance architecture, to promote a culture of performance, then maintenance is not going to be a problem. That is what we are going to do as a government. Okay, thank you. Quick one.
Yes, I'm by Sorry to. Well, the impression that let us so this is not a duty free. Come and do shopping. Ben de aşağı gidip geliyorum. Ben de aşağı bakayım geleyim. Okay. Um made a left for now and also throughout the day I don't want a coverage where I believe say when I get a proper look at the airport so I hope now say when I will try for can use the airport so that I will get the experience and